right guys new video new lake um local lake for us lake jordan uh, most of you have heard this heard of this lake um it's down here in apex north carolina off highway 64. so i'm out here unfortunately john didn't make it today he wasn't feeling very well so um i'm out here fishing this morning hopefully we can find some i've i've always struggled with this lake but who knows i mean it's getting to be fall time it's getting to be that time of year where they're going to start acting up again so um and yes i'm sure all of you are wondering i have a nasty mustache right now i just worked all night just got off work a little while ago so i might be a little tired today but um we're gonna fish for a few hours and see if we can figure something out so come go along with me uh, i'll let you guys know what i'm doing how i'm doing it and uh, hopefully i can show you some good fish okay so yeah get ready all right guys so i just pulled up to a spot out here i'm checking one of these main lake um points and it's actually a grass point I'm actually just using some of my electronics here. I actually just got this, um, this lower inch HDS7, and um, I'm just looking and seeing if I can see some bait out here. Uh, it looks like I'm marking a decent amount of bait here, um, but I'm not marking a whole lot of big fish in them yet. But I'm still learning how to read this stuff, so you know it's going to be a, a time, a time uh, consuming thing probably, but it'll be interesting. But uh, beautiful sunrise this morning, guys. It's going to be fun. We're gonna catch it. We're gonna catch something, for sure. Maybe on the whopper plopper. All right, guys. So nothing on that point. Um, I'm gonna try and move around kind of quick to try and see if I can get a bite to figure out what's going on. Cause you know how it is in the, in the mornings. You don't have a whole lot of time to figure things out. So um, I'm gonna run this whopper plopper down this uh, grass line right here and see if I can get something to blow up on it. If not, we're gonna go fish and rip wrap. Um, so we're just gonna keep changing it up until we get a bite. And then once we get a bite, we'll try and hone in from there. All right. So maybe we'll get one on the old. Whopper plopper. I've yet to catch one on this yet, but I'm ready for one to blow up on. All right, so I'm skunk so far. Um, try to figure it out. I don't know. Fish some points, fish some um, rip wrap. Um, yeah, I've spent too much time staring at this <laughs> this new Lowrance. Uh, I'm just amazed at the at the structure scan and all that stuff. So um, I've been messing around with that for a while. So hopefully I'll find them in here. This is kind of a deeper bank. So I'm going to run down through here and see if throw a spinner bait on a little bit, see if I can find maybe a couple small ones. Get something going. I just need something to just, just one hit so I can figure out something. So we're struggling right now, but it is what it is. We'll figure it out. All right, guys, first one's on. And it's a decent one. Come here, you. Come here. Yeah. Hey, look at that. All right. I've been dragging that jig for a while now. And that is how they get perfect hooks. That is beautiful right there. That is absolutely beautiful. So that fish came out of a tree on a little bit of water. So that is good news. That's a skinny fish though. So God, it feels good though, doesn't it? I love it. Um, that right there was on this 911 Custom Baits. Um, this is a half ounce flipping um, jig. And I'm not gonna go in there. Okay, we're on this. We're on this log now. Um, I think it's like a it's like a bluegill color because you can kind of see it's got the black and blue in it, but it's got some purple in it too. So that's what I was kind of trying to imitate, just bumping it through those uh, that tree right there. And he, this one came up and popped it. So first one of the day. Oh, didn't know he was bleeding that bad. Just out of the nose a little bit. Oh well, she'll be all right. We'll get her back.
There's one. Oh, little guy. <laughs> Come here, you. Oh, uh. All right. Oh, he's blind in one eye. All righty. So, you guys, hopefully you got that. I laid into him, didn't I? Um, same bait. Kind of figured him out. Got a little pattern going. I'm liking it. Up shallow, on wood, um, flipping the jig. That's just a little one. But uh, he picked up, started swimming with it down a tree. So I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but that's a blind bass. See how his eyes all uh, um, cloudy like that? So he's blind in that eye. He's got a good eye over here, but he's blind in this eye. So um, he can actually still hunt and stuff um, with his lateral line and whatnot, but pretty cool, right? Jig bites are fun. It, I haven't been, I'm not been a very good jig fisherman and I'm just stumbling over my own words. Why am I still talking? There's a fish. Cool. Fish guys, finally. Oh, it's a miracle. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't tell you how relieved I am to catch that fish. It has been hours and I have been struggling and I am on my last leg. I'm tired. But man, that felt good right there. He smashed it. I'm in a little, um, I'm in a uh, submerged stump field. You can see that fish has been feeding. Got a fat little billy there. Um, I'm in a submerged stump field on a little point right here. And uh, I'm just fishing a spinnerbait, slow rolling. It's the middle of the day. It's like 12 15. So, pretty fish. Hopefully, we'll catch a few more in here. Maybe a big one. All right, guys, so we just finished up here at uh, Lake Jordan today. Um, fishing by myself. It was nice. I'm about to pass out because I've been up all night. But um, I caught three. Uh, I had a little bit of a hard time figuring them out. I caught two real real quickly back-to-back -back on a jig, a uh, black and blue jig on some um, wood. But I went around to that for a couple more hours, and I just couldn't get another bite on it. So. I started moving around, trying other things. Saw some schooling fish, not sure if they were bass or if they were stripers, um, but couldn't get them to bite. And then I went and started uh, fishing some submerged timber and actually uh, was marking a lot of bait in there. Um, and I was actually able to catch a bass out of there and had a big bass come up and, and swirl on my uh, spinner bait. So um, yeah, it's a tough day. It, this, this lake has always kicked my butt for some reason. Um, it's just one of those lakes, people call it the Dead Sea around here. And uh, some guys are really good at it and some guys know where to catch these fish um, and pull in 30 pound bags. But um, for me, it's always been a struggle here. So um, come visit the lake though. I mean, it, you know, there's some monster bass in here. Um, I just haven't been successful getting them yet. So um, it's a love-hate relationship. I will hopefully be able to, to get some revenge on this lake this fall. So I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, like below, subscribe as well if you haven't already, and uh, share it with your friends if you'd like to see anything different, if you'd like us to go to a lake near you, um, if you have any suggestions for anything on the videos or where we should fish or anything, just please leave it below. Uh, the more feedback, the better. And uh, you guys go out there and fish. All right, good luck to you. Later.